previously on Lukey at the Links. Boundary Oaks, back nine. So the back nine, drivable-ish kind of par four if you play from the wrong tees and you hit it a long way. Super downhill speed zone. Hit a good drive. Basically, for me, the issue here, and it's really a well-protected green, was I hit into that gap with my wedges where I didn't know what to hit. It's in between the kind of the gap wedge and my 54. Came up short, and it's just on this course I couldn't ever get up and down. So that's a two-putt, even though that was a fairly decent shot. The 11th hole is the hardest hole for me to play because... In theory, I think you're supposed to lay up short of this hazard, but I laid up too short and then just gave myself a hook into a tree, which I had to take a penalty shot, so this is my fourth shot. And it just led to a double bogey that was like an unforced error. So I believe I just played this hole really badly. Like I could have done much better. I just did not handle the course. Really started to get a feel for the putting around this time in the round. So this is a 200 yard par four downhill into the wind and it's a sloping hole as well. There's a lot of mounds and other stuff. You may never even get to see the hole sadly because of the way it's filmed, but this one I did get up and down I believe and I got par. We're going down the home stretch, the 13th hole here. The course is starting to get more narrow on the backside. You can see it's a little bit tighter there. Short hole. There's only one bunker on this hole, and your boy found it. And that is not the best feeling. Looked up a little, shot it out to the right, and you know how this goes. Let's see how this plays. Just lagged it up there, so that's fine. One of the more fun holes on the course, the 14th, par five, very gettable. Beautiful looking hole, finally connected with the driver, got it out a good distance. Definitely didn't connect with the three wood, got frustrated, hit a good iron into the green really good iron and I wish I had filmed this but I made that birdie putt so your boy is feeling good made a birdie trying to get going and this is just a slight dog leg left the yardages were kind of uncomfortable for me and I just left my blocked it out to the right but that's what the hole looks like and this is the one hole where I couldn't get the ball to run out every other hole it wanted to run out and I just couldn't get it all the way there but I got up and down there this home stretch is really a nice set of holes but they also start to look a little similar when you're there the winds really whipping put this on a weird trajectory I thought I made this I was one club short oh yeah this line was so ridiculously good so good it's actually closer than that made it look but it was really good hit that chip it looks good did it run out a long way I bet it ran out yeah see that's how how fast these greens are is it runs out and these greens turn a lot. So I made a bogey from that position. And that's just how difficult the greens are here. Par 3 17th. Just a difficult, a lot of bunkers, narrow green, just a tough shot. Blocked it out, had to hit this, this difficult shot over this bunker. Not bad for what I was facing. And I got the bogue. So I got final hole. 
18. Signature hole, probably, if they were to say. So it's a dog leg left, par 5. Tried to move the ball right to left, but I'm not good enough to do that, so I couldn't. Who relates to this? Now I'm behind a tree. I just hit a punch out to move the ball. Got it out there. Gave, that's This is what you're looking at. You want to kind of get to where I punched out. So now at about 200 yards to where I punched out. Hit the ball about as good as I can hit it with that club. And here's my man Tommy. This little cameo. Watch this. Watch this. That's a great chip. It's a fantastic shot. And you can see where my ball was. So now I had this putt. And it's going to be hard to tell, but I drain it for the bird. So thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate anyone that watches the videos, anyone that hits the subscribe button, likes, shares, and gives it to your friends and stuff. It really means a lot. This is a passion project. This is something that I've always wanted other people to do, and I'm taking the initiative to try it. So any grassroots support or anyone sharing the videos or offering comments or ideas really means a lot, and I'll take those to heart.